all right how's everybody doing today back again with another video for you guys and gals and today what i have for everyone is my full review of the best alice case and temper glass screen protector for your samsung galaxy m20 now i've been using this case and screen protector combo for a good amount of time and I feel like I got a handle on everything that I want to talk about and cover with you guys and gals. So, without further ado, let's jump into this full review. Alright? Now, starting off, the first thing I want to talk about with you guys and gals is the overall build quality and design of the case itself. Now, in order for me to do that, we do have to pop the case off of the device. So, let's do that real quick. And y'all can also see how easy it is to take the device out of the case. So here's the device. Let's go ahead and rest this down real fast. Don't slide nowhere. I know you like to move. Don't move M20. Talking to you. All right, now, talking about the overall build quality and design of the case itself. In terms of the overall build quality, I have to say it is pretty good. It's not the best I've seen and the build quality actually takes a hit because the material started to rub off the back here just from regular usage. So that should not be happening so soon after I started using this case. Even though some would say because of the price, you know, you get what you pay for. But no, at least in my experience, this shouldn't be happening happen until about a month, maybe two month, months in. So the overall build quality, although it's good, it does take a hit because th these materials did start to wear extremely quickly. Other than that, the overall build quality on this is really, really good. It's super durable and it actually requires a lot of effort to flex. Okay, y'all see, check out my hand. This bad. We got to flex it hard in order to get it flexed. So we got some nice reinforced, durable TPU and hard shell materials on here and the overall build quality is top notch and i gotta say i do like the overall design of this as well i like the materials that they went with i like the overall look and aesthetics of it so the overall design of this case is really really good so in the build quality and in the design best alice you guys have done a really good job all right so let's keep it moving now, the next thing I want to talk about with you guys and gals is the overall fit and feel of the case itself. Now, to do that, I've got to drop this bad boy back in, and y'all can see how easy it is to drop it back on the device. Just that quick, it's dropped right back in. Now, talking about the overall fit, I have to say this fits perfectly. So you can see we got all of our appropriate cutouts for our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, USB Type-C charging port, microphones speaker grill and you can see all of our buttons are fully covered and still maintain their clickiness and tactileness so i don't know how well the mic's going to pick it up but let's try this okay super clicky super tactile okay so really really good stuff there really good stuff indeed and we do have an overall perfect fit on the device. So in terms of the overall fit, really good stuff, top notch in that category. In terms of the overall feel, really good stuff, top notch in this category as well. I actually like the way this case feels in my hands and it adds some much needed grip for an otherwise slippery device, okay? And I'm sure if you guys and gals have checked out my older videos on the M20, there were points in some of those videos where the device literally started to slide away by itself without me doing anything. And that's because the actual material on the device is a polycarbonate plastic and it is extremely slippery. So a case is definitely needed and best Alice, in terms of the fit and feel, you guys and gals have done a great job here. So top notch in the overall fit and feel category. All right, now let's keep it moving and let's talk about the overall protection. Now in terms of protection in regards to this case and screen protector combo, again, I feel Best Alice has done a great job. So you can see you have all of your necessary cutouts 
and everything has a nice raised lip and indentation to it. So regardless of however I rest the device down or if I drop the device, nothing is getting damaged. So you can see it has a nice raised lip on the front and you got your nice little lanyard strap there. Don't really use those, but you do have a nice raised lip. So even if I drop the device face down, my display is okay, A-OK. -okay. And same thing for the back. You can see we got a nice raised lip and indentation for the camera modules and the flash and the fingerprint sensor. So if I drop it face down on the back, we good. And even further still, because of the kickstand integration, we do actually have a nice raised platform here. So y'all can see I can kind of slide my pinky under there. So we're definitely not touching anything on the back of the device. And I got to say, this integrated kickstand is nice. But we're going to talk about that in a little bit here. All right. So in terms of the overall protection, I feel as though Best Alice has done a great job. And with the inclusion of the tempered glass screen protector, we do indeed have maximum protection for this device. And you can see the screen protector goes right up to the edge where the case meets. So we do have maximum protection with no openings on the screen protector. And I have to say, this is a nice, high quality tempered glass. Now, some of y'all may say, E, there is an opening right there. And th that may be true. But the combination of the raised lip on the tempered glass and the combination of the raised lip on the case means when I put it face down, my front facing camera is definitely not being touched. So we do have maximum protection here. All right. And the only reason why they left that cut out is that's where the receiver grill is for taking phone calls. So you can't really cover that and risk obstruct, uh, obstructing the sound and or blocking off certain sensors for the camera. So it makes sense why they left that spot open. All in all, you can say it's not fully protected, but I would say I think it is. So let's agree to disagree. And again, this whole video is based in my opinion. Overall, I would say though, this case and screen protector combo offers maximum protection. So best Alice, you guys have done a great job. Yet again, top notch marks in this category as well. All right. Now, let's briefly summarize some of the positives and the negatives of this case. And then we're going to talk about the price. And I'm going to give you all my final thoughts and an overall recommendation or two. All right. So starting off, let's talk about the negatives first. Because I feel like I'm starting off with the positives a little too often. So let's start off with the negatives. Now, in terms of negatives, there's really only one. The build quality on this case is not as good as it should be. Because there's no reason why this material should be wearing off so quickly. I've literally only been using this as my main case for a couple weeks. And this is just worn off due to taking the device in and out of my pocket. There's no reason why this should have happened so quickly. So the build quality does take a hit in that aspect. Other than that, there's no other negatives with this case. All right? Now... Moving on, let's summarize the positives of this bad boy real quickly. Now, the overall build quality and design on this is really, really good. Not top notch because of this, but really good nonetheless. The overall fit and feel of this case on the device and in my hands is top notch. So really, really good in that category. The overall protection of this case on the device is top notch so really really good there with your nice precision cutouts and your nice raised lips and indentations and fully full protection for the buttons while maintaining their clickiness so top notch protection top notch fit and feel really good stuff there okay and another good thing about this case is the included kickstand so let's say I was doing something at my desk here, typing up an email, working on a video, and I just wanted to have some music playing in the background, and I didn't want to use a Bluetooth headset, hey, set it up like this, put it off to the side, let that music play. Or let's say I was working on something, and I just wanted to have a video playing off to the side, wait, 
with this quick with this kickstand we're good to go so really really nice addition with the inclusion of the kickstand really good stuff there all right and then other than that another big positive could be considered the price of which we're going to talk about in a few seconds here so overall some really great positives with this case all right now i gotta tell y'all this screen protector the overall sensitivity even with the screen protector on is really really good now i gotta grade that out so overall touch sensitivity with the screen protector on the device is top notch now this is a little bit difficult for me to do from behind the camera so if it does look like some missed touches I'm telling y'all it's not trust me okay so overall really good stuff with this case all right next next thing we want to talk about now is now let's go over the price and I'm gonna give y'all my final thoughts and overall recommendation now I picked this bad boy up via Amazon and I gotta say best Alice and Amazon kudos for the really fast delivery, this bad boy came extremely protected, so really good job there, and I didn't have any issues with the overall delivery process, okay? Kudos in that aspect. And I paid, uh, I think it was about eight, nine dollars for this bad boy. Now, as I always do, because we're all about keeping it 100 here, is I have the screenshot up of exactly what I paid in post, so y'all know exactly what I paid for this bad boy here. But for that price of about eight, maybe nine dollars, can I recommend that you guys and gals pick up this case for your Samsung Galaxy M20? Well, I'd have to say yes, okay? Now, if you're picking up the M20 and you want it to be a long-term investment, you're definitely gonna need some protection for your investment, and I can definitely recommend this. Especially for that price, I can almost recommend you pick up maybe two, maybe three of these. You should be good to go. In case anything happens, you should be fully covered. So once again, can I recommend that y'all pick up this case and screen protector combo? I'd have to say yes. All right. Now, that pretty much does it for this full review here today. As always, if you guys and gals enjoyed this review and or found it helpful in any way, shape, form, or fashion, Please help your boy out and give the video a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. If y'all want to see more content like this, also feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and click off the notification bell icon right next to it so you guys and gals get notified when I publish new videos. That being said, if this video piqued your interest here today, all the links to everything that I talked about in this video will be available down below in the video description. So, links to the cases and where you can find it at some really great prices, links to the device, all that good stuff will be available down below in the video description. So as always, the video description will be like a one-stop shop for you guys and gals and you should be good to go. Recording this video here today for everyone, I did use the rear facing 12 megapixel camera on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Active. This whole video here today was recorded in 720p resolution at 30 frames per second and responsible for all the audio recording duty, duties, duties, duties here today is the Boya BY MM01 shotgun style microphone. So please let me know what you think of the overall video quality, the overall audio quality down below in the comments. Your feedback is, as always, greatly appreciated. I hope everyone has a great day, and I will catch you guys and gals in my next video. Have a good one, everybody. Peace.